We've come out to the banks of the Severn Estuary as we're gearing up for what is one of the most important times of year for waders on the reserve. Whilst we're all thinking about heading off on our summer holidays, our waders are also on the move. They've started their autumn migration. For some species, that starts early. Our green sandpipers are usually the first back, and this year that was the 11th of June when autumn migration started for them. Now these are likely to be adult birds returning from the breeding grounds they've perhaps failed to breed. And then through July we see other birds start to turn up, particularly our black-tailed godwits from Iceland. And now as we reach August we'll be looking out for the first juveniles of the year, those black-tailed godwits, the green sandpipers, but also other species such as ruff and dunling will join us. The freshwater pools and scrapes around the reserve overlooked by our hides are great places to come and catch up with these species and maybe even the odd scarcity, things like curlew sandpipers as well. Whilst out here on the estuary, we'll be watching closely as the numbers of Dunlin, Ring Plover and our Curlew start to build as we head into the winter months. With all these species of wader around, you might think that they're all competing for the same food resource, but thanks to their adaptations with different bill length and feeding strategies, they're all able to find a meal out here on the reserve. It's been calculated that a cubic metre of estuary mud can contain the same calorific content as 13 chocolate bars. Out on the estuary, we've got species like ringed plover. They're surface feeders. They'll run along, stop, have a look for the food and pick at it. Whilst our curlew have got those long bills, they can delve down deep into the mud and find the food below the surface. So this combined with all of the butterflies, dragonflies and botanical interests that we've got on site, it really is a great time to come and visit Slimbridge this August.